Welcome back. Let's talk about the range cylinder. The range cylinder is mounted on the auxiliary and is responsible for the 30 to 40 percent ratio change. It's a simple cast housing uh, actuating rod that the shift fork would be mounted to and has two work ports. The two ports are sent air by the slave valve when you're in low or in high range. Low or high range is selected by the master air control valve that sends the pilot down to the slave and the slave valve will then control based on the shift lever position. So when we come through neutral, the slave valve actuating pin moves away and the piston moves over and it sends airflow into the high position, the air is going to come into this port and then it's allowed out this port and that's going to act on the big surface area on the piston and it's going to move the rod in. When we go into low, based on the master air control valve, the air is going to go through the slave valve into this port here, out this port here, move the piston back into the bottom or base end of the cylinder and that's going to put us in low range in the auxiliary. This comes apart fairly simply, only one bolt holding this one, but there's four bolts in this back cover and a paper gasket used to seal the end of the housing. Inside, fairly simple piston on a rod with a rubber o-ring and anytime we disassemble or assemble we'll use silicone lubricant uh, to make sure that we have good compatibility with the seals. So there's a seal here sealing the piston and then there's also a seal inside the housing that's used to seal against the rod. That seal right there. Fairly simple cylinder, simple to rebuild, 